What up everybody, this is Simon Khalil. Welcome back to another one. I appreciate y'all coming back, joining me. And uh, today's topics, um, engagement sessions. How we plan them, what we do, why we do it. Should it be included in your wedding package or not? Let's get into it. So guys, engagement sessions. Many photographers include this in their wedding packages. Some do, some don't. Hold on, I don't know if I like how wide this is. Should I get a little bit closer? There we go. So, a couple of reasons why I do them, a couple of reasons why I enjoy them, and to be honest, they may be my favorite type of shoot overall um you know weddings are hectic and weddings are, are very time demanding and so on and so forth so uh engagement sessions are a key thing to understand your client uh understanding their understanding their needs really figuring out what they want and you do that in a couple of ways one communication right I am constantly on the phone with the couple or texting the couple of ideas, locations, um, sending them things through uh, Pinterest, through the, the mood boards that I create. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll drop a link for the, the mood board that I did for my latest one. Now, this is something that for me is extremely helpful. So I understand the poses. I understand the type of images that they want, the style that they're going for. Uh, also, it's very difficult to get the bride and groom comfortable the day of the wedding, right? So the most important thing here is understanding their angles. What angles do they like of themselves? Same thing like a portrait. Sometime to, you know, let the model go and do her thing with minor adjustments and minor moves that maybe you want to implement. But when it comes down to it, that's a trained professional, right? With the wedding game or the engagement game, this is really their first time doing anything like this. So it's super important to get them comfortable. Uh, the, the angles are important, the poses are important. Let's get that down and uh, make sure it's what they want. At the end of the day, it's all about them right it's all about what they want but if you're planning with them which i recommend you should you're planning you're you're doing all these things picking out outfits planning the day planning the location uh times um outfit changes so on and so forth you bi should build in some extra time in that time frame or the time you're shooting to get the shots that you want as well, because you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised about what you can grab uh, at certain certain um, certain times of day, especially during uh, during sunset. Um, your creativity does come out probably a little bit more at that time. So it's super important to let them get what they want, but also make time for what you want. So another thing that I do uh, that I started doing probably about one year ago. Now, I'm not saying everybody has to do this, but it's a really nice touch uh, when it comes to the engagement sessions is, is a, like, a, like a, a one minute to two minute snippet video. Uh, so I, you know, all the poses that I go through with a couple, we sort of do it twice uh, just to get that particular uh, video out. But, so you would be surprised about how much more work you can actually get for doing videos like this. Now, I'm not saying you have to do it. All I'm saying is that it's been a benefit to me probably for uh, the past year or so. Um, I definitely de definitely see more business because of it. A lot more people are sharing it. A lot more views are happening on it. There are people that are, are, are being tagged on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, family members and so on and so forth that I get to tag uh, when I share uh, these sort of um, 
videos as well as pictures. So uh, it's a good, good way to market yourself. Definitely think about it. It's definitely something you should include. Uh, it's also a little bit of a hint of what type of video the wedding couple is looking for on their actual wedding day. So uh, if there is a separate videographer, you could always send them that video. Uh, you could always share that video that you created with them so that way they understand the type of style that they're looking for. Uh, one of my couples this past year did recently use the video for uh, on, a, on a separate screen that the DJ has in the actual reception and that was super cool. All they did was play it over and over and over again throughout the night. So uh, we got a, lot of, got a lot of attention, got a lot of business that day. So it was super informative. Um, it was super important that uh, your information's on there and uh, you're marketing yourself the right way. So um, definitely, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on those notifications. So every time I post a video, you guys are aware. All right. Other than that, guys, hopeless, hopefully this helped out. Be safe. Peace out. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it.